a few minutes, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. At the East End Grill in Lafayette, business is back and booming. Yep, no problem. I'll be right back with that, okay? And servers have to be fast on their feet to keep up. All right, here's that East End burger. While they're course, delivering so delicious the dishes, right the restaurant Sorry itself is struggling with one key ingredient. Staffing's a challenge. Enough workers to handle demand. I've never seen anything like this. Longtime restaurant owners say now that their establishments are open again, the customers are back. But all those employees who were laid off last year, some 215,000 restaurant workers statewide, are nowhere to be found. It's the same story. Every city uh, is as challenging as it's ever been right now. A challenge for sure. Some call it a crisis. So much so, the local Chamber of Commerce had planned a restaurant week to promote these businesses and bring more people downtown. But with businesses stretched so thin, so short on workers, they hit the pause button and pivoted. The chamber is instead launching a campaign to bring workers back to an industry that's starving for them. A sign of the times for restaurants and other industries too. Nationwide, nearly one out of every two small businesses say they can't fill jobs. Yeah, I mean, you're running short and, and ticket times get longer, those kind of things that, you know, people don't like to deal with, unfortunately, so it creates issues with the guests, um, but it is what it is. Experts blame it on several challenges, including employees who were laid off and then switched careers, as well as extended unemployment benefits. In the meantime, owners are searching for alternative solutions, like technology that would let you order your own meal and pay by phone. I mean, that's not the way we want to go. I think dining out should be a, a little more of a personal experience than that. But if we don't have the staff, that, that becomes a problem. Until they can get more workers to bite. You know, to find more workers nationally and locally, the restaurant chain Chipotle now is ready to pay more. They're going to raise the worker pay to an average of 15 bucks an hour by the end of June. They also are going to offer $200 referral bonuses for crew members and $750 for general managers. The company aims to hire 20,000 people all across the country just this summer.